and he moved from there to the mountain east of Bethel and he pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Oi on the east there he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord hallelujah so here he has a mind to worship the Lord Almighty in Tamil we can see ange kartari tholudu kondan tholudu kondan he has a mind of worshiping God he has the fear of God so wherever he goes whatever the situations may be whatever the problems there may be in the midst of all the problems and situations he has the mentality to worship the lord hallelujah he built an altar there and he was worshiping the lord almighty so he is giving proper reverence to the lord almighty amen to the lord and called on the name of the lord he called on the name of the lord means he was worshiping the lord almighty he is calling the lord he is seeking the lord lord where to go what i need to do everything he was speaking directly with god hallelujah because he knows every answers from god is perfect hallelujah whatever the answers comes from god that will not hinder his future life that will bless his future amen so we need to have a mentality to 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 worship the god worship the lord almighty the situations may be against of the god's call situations may be against of blessings situations may be against of prosperity no need to worry about that if god is calling us to come out of our, the places he is ready to bless us in whatever situations we are crossing through amen so it is very clear he built an altar and worshiped the lord almighty always we need to have the have the pious of god pious of god we need to have the pious with god amen so then only we can hear the voice of god we can hear the voice of god okay we will read so two things i have told you here first of all whatever god told abraham put his complete trust in god and obeyed him immediately avar sonna padiye no right or left only straight forward whatever he told he was ready to obey whatever he told whether it is an easy work or difficult work whether it is a hard work or easy work whatever it may be he was ready to trust god and obey god amen secondly he has a mind of worshiping the lord almighty in times of negative situations amen in times of negative situations so here he has a minus two things we have been discussing so you will come the, to the following verse chapter 13 verse 4 13 verse 4 we can read another place he was also worshiping the lord almighty to the place of the altar which he had made there at first and there abraham called on the name of the lord hallelujah here also he was calling the name of the lord many times we will be waiting for the god let him speak let him speak he will speak he has he has power to speak to us at any time but even then god has created us to call on his name hallelujah we should not wait for him to speak rather we need to speak first amen in times of situations but many times the situations will make us to stop talking with god to be silent but even in that situations in that situations abraham was worshiping the lord almighty no matter the situation is against of us no matter the problems that we are facing whatever it may be we need to have a mentality to speak to god hallelujah already god is expecting to hear our voice that's why he is waiting so we should not be silent in times of situations rather we need to call upon the lord that here abraham has played a 
great role example for us amen even though he was he is called the father of the faithful servants father of faith he has gone through lot of best qualities or characters that's why god has appointed him as the father of faith amen otherwise he could not be because even then he was going to going through negative situations abraham was ready to call upon god first amen abraham was ready to speak to god abraham was ready to build the altar and to praise the lord almighty hallelujah so that that much readiness you and me need to have to call upon the lord at any sort of circumstances or situations that we are going through amen so secondly he is also worshiping the lord 134 as we have read you know to the place of the altar which he had made there at first and there abraham called on the name of the lord second time also abraham was calling the name of the lord so till we hear the voice of god we need to call upon the name of the lord amen until we hear the voice of god we should not stop calling the name of the lord because we all are called to call the name of the lord we all are called to worship the name of the lord we all are called to praise the name of the lord amen because god is worthy to be praised amen he has created us with his own hands he has created us with his own image why first of all we need to call upon the name of the lord amen if we fail to call upon the name of the lord our life will be utter failure amen here abraham showed a best example to each and every one of us in order to hear the voice of god he was obedience to the lord he was worshiping the lord almighty amen for this we need to we no need to hear the voice of god in order to worship god no need to hear the voice of god if you worship god we will automatically hear the voice of god hallelujah so our first and foremost work is to call upon the name of the lord so second time also here abraham was calling the name of the lord amen so since he called the name of the lord he was being blessed amen so we will come to the come to the verse chapter uh, verse 11 13 11 you know the read 13 11 13 11 then lord chose for himself all the plain of jordan and le- lord jo- joined it and they separated from each other okay you know Only okay you know here 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 it is clear you know lot was selecting the whole land if we meditate upon this verse it is very clear when abraham was traveling from his own nest own place lot was along with abraham lot and abraham lot and abraham they together was traveling but you know now abraham was telling if you go to east i will go to west if you go right i will go to left now lord was selecting a a rich place a greenish place near the bank of jordan and it was very greenish very rich land but here lord has a selfish mind at as i was told you before because of his selfish mind he was selecting the whole land this word is very 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 much emphasizing here 11 the lord the lord, lord for himself for all, him the, all the plain of plain of all the all plain of jericho not the a particular plain he was selecting all the plain of jordan all the plain. he is not living a small place to abraham even though they were both traveling from their native place here lot was more selfish and he was telling he was selecting all the plain of that land he was not having a mentality to ask whether 
my brother do you need a, a small part of this land because this is very green is do you need he was never asking such questions because out of self is he was choosing the whole land for himself a selfish mentality you know so in this place abraham was not murmuring he was not replying any negative words he was not replying any negative words he was not murmuring oh my brother has selected a good land hey brother why not he giving me a small even a small part for me he was not murmuring he was not asking any questions he was not asking any questions he kept quiet hallelujah hallelujah many times you know david also was telling i was silent many times he was silent he needs to speak many words but he was silent he was putting a good sip in his mouth so we need to be very careful we need to be very careful we need to be very careful we need to be silent we need to put a big sip because david was putting a big sip he was not even speaking good words where he needs he was putting a big sip and he was silent so we need to be also silent in times of certain situations amen we need to keep silent ningal summa irpirgal naan ungalukkaga yuddham seive you will be silent i will be fight for you i will be fighting for you you keep silent because god is there to fight for us hallelujah give next to your friend and say god is there to fight for us keep silent wherever we need to keep silent tell tell to your friends and say hallelujah tell to your friends and say we need to keep silence in certain times of situations because when we keep silence there god will fight for us god is there to the ready to fight for us amen so here abraham was silent he was not murmuring he was not asking any questions because he was silent what he told what he was receiving you know read verse 14 the same verse we will come again and read and read in 14 in 14 and the lord said to abraham after lot had separated from him lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are northward southward eastward and westward and the lord, the lord said to abraham after lot had separated from him hallelujah if anyone is having selfish mentality if anyone is having a strife mentality so there we need to keep, keep silent and when that particular person will separate from us we can hear the voice of god hallelujah here we can see that when lot was separated from abraham amen everyone tell loudly when lot separated from abraham and the lord said to abraham after lot had separated from him here god has an appointed time to speak to us amen god will not let other people know about our blessings amen many times god will hide the blessings that god has placed upon for us appointed for us and he will provide his blessings in the due time when the enemy is depart from us amen when the people those who are jealous about us separated from us god will pour out his blessings for us amen god is there to speak towards us amen here when lord was separated from him lord said to abraham amen what he was telling lift your eyes now amen this is the time to lift your eyes you should not delay to lift your eyes above this is the proper time to lift your eyes lift your eyes amen the word is very clearly mentioned now amen everyone say now now is the time to lift our eyes above hallelujah and the lord said to abram after lord has separated from him lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are hallelujah now the place where abram situated is situated may be a barren land may be the situation sorry against his lovely livelihood may be the situation sorry totally opposite to the desire of abraham but whatever it may be there the voice of god is very clear hallelujah now this is the time 
to lift our eyes above. Amen. The situations that we are going through may be not appreciated by others. We may be facing oppositions and oppositions every time. No need to worry. But there is, there will be a time come like the time came for Abraham. Now, hallelujah. This is the time. Now, God has told Abraham, now you lift your eyes above. Lift your eyes now and look from the place where you are. Whatever the barren land you are standing, whatever the negative situations you are facing, in that right situation, you just lift your eyes. Hallelujah. And his, the promise from God is from whole directions. From whole directions. What are the directions? Northward, southward, eastward and westward. God was not leaving any, any direction. He was giving the blessings from all directions. Hallelujah. He was speaking his whole blessings. Perfect blessings. Complete blessings. He was telling to look everywhere. Everywhere. And the blessings was, was very huge, you know. The blessing God has proclaimed here, announced here to Abraham was very huge. And it is perfect. Amen. It is perfect. What we can see, the next word, for all the land. Okay. Here the word is all the land. Underline that word. All the land. Amen. In the previous verse we have seen. Chapter 13. Verse 11. What we have seen? 11. The Lord chose for, chose for himself all the plain of Jordan. All, all the plain. All the plain. All the plain. All the plain. Here what Here God was telling? All, all the land. All the land. Lord chose all, all the plain of the river Jordan only. All the plain lands in the river Jordan only. That from there he was telling all the land. But here, God's promise is greater than what we have to say. Amen. What human says, what human hearts contains or accumulates. So, God's thinking is beyond than our thinking. God's ways are beyond than our ways. How much big His ways, how much big His plans means. How much big our plans mean, His plans means. From this land to the sky. So here, it is very clear. All the land, all the land, all the land. Lord was selecting only all the land in river Jordan only. But God's promise was all the land, northward, eastward, southward and westward, all the land. His promise was greater than our, our thinking. It would, it would not be limit, limited. God's promises, God's blessings are unlimited. Now we have mobile phones. Previously if we charge for 50 rupees, within 50 rupees we need to speak everything. But you know, today we have unlimited calls for Two months, three months, one month, likewise. So, in this way, God's blessing is also unlimited for us. Here, God's blessing to Abraham, you see very clearly, all the land. Everyone of you turn your Bible and read that verse, all the land. For all the land which you see, I give to you and your descendants. His word, in every word is important. Every word is important. Every word is important. His promise, all, every, each and every word and letters is very, very important. Because His blessings and His promise will fulfill in the due time those who are obedience to God, those who are fearing God, those who are trusting God, those who have a flexible mentality. And for those people, God will speak to them. They can hear the voice of God. And the voice of God, every words are very, very, very important. Hallelujah. So all the words that God uttered will be come true 
and it will be fulfilled in the due time amen here the words are fulfilled you know you you see word by word we can see for all the land here god was using the word all because lord was selecting all the land which was seemed to be greenish so god is speaking to abraham in order to in order to delete the strives in order to delete the unwantable questions there god was speaking to him all the land for all the land which you see amen which you see not others but you see hallelujah that you see whatever you see that will be given to you amen now abraham was seeing abraham was seeing whatever you see okay i give to you and your descendants forever i give to anyone else no i give to you and not others descendants but your descendants your descendants forever amen everywhere is very very important whatever you see you will receive and your descendants your descendants this your descendants means whoever born of abraham or not the descendants understand very clearly whoever born in faith they are the only descendants of abraham whoever born for abraham were, were not the descendants whoever born in faith means the second birth amen already we have born from our mother's womb the second birth is the rebirth renewal of our mind renewal of our heart renewing in spirit so those who were born secondly they were called as the descendants that descendants can only acquire the promise of god hallelujah whatever abraham was seeing all those promise were will be received by the descendants the descendants the true descendants i mean forever forever not for only one time if god is blessing that blessing is forever hallelujah his blessing is forever so in order to receive such blessings from god we need to we need to have some character that abraham had hallelujah if you are if you are asking god bless me bless me he is not ready to bless us even abraham had to cross lot of barriers after that only he could receive he could hear the voice of god and then only he could receive the blessings of god god's blessings are unlimited his blessings are unlimited very careful very careful so first of all we have been seeing abraham was obedience to god whatever he told he was trusting him completely and do whatever god told hallelujah secondly wherever he goes he was not seeing the situations and circumstances he was there to worship the lord almighty by building the altar amen so after crossing these things as we have seen last week he was getting rid of strife he has a mind to give things he has to he has a mind to think others more than himself amen he was hearing the voice of god because of these good activities he gone through so in our lives also many times situations will be telling us no need to ask god situations may may help us to silent before god but god is telling through the life of abraham to each and every one of us we need to obey god in all all sort of circumstances and we need to we need to be silent in certain problem problematic areas hallelujah so when god tells us to lift our eyes above d- during that time if we lift our eyes above we can hear the voice of god and we will be blessed hallelujah everyone of you please close your eyes 
look to the Lord as we have heard the voice of God. This is not from me, but I know that this is from God. The word of God is powerful. The word has no blame. The word is word of God is blameless. It is pure than a gold. It is tastier than a honey. So when we are ready to hear his voice, hear his words, and change our lifestyles, change our life activities, God is there to speak to us and we can be able to hear his voice. If you are if you are worthy to hear his voice, that is enough for us. That is enough for our futures. That is enough for our best livelihood. That is enough for us, for our descendants. Because that much great his blessings so. That much great his blessings so. That much great his blessings so. Obey his word. Obey whatever God tells. Worship the Lord Almighty. Have a flexible mentality. Get rid of strife. Be silent wherever we need to be silent. Give chance to God. And He is there to speak to us in the due time. He will not cross His due time. He is faithful to fulfill His promises in His due time. He is faithful to speak to us in this in his due time whatever the situations we are we may be crossing through no need to bother no need to worry about that hallelujah hallelujah oh jesus do something new in my life oh lord do something new in my life oh lord do something new in my life Something new in my life Something new in my life Oh God Do something new in my life Something new in my life Something new in my life Oh God Loving gracious heavenly father We thank you and praise you for this wonderful time Lord Jesus Father Lord we are nothing but with you we are everything lord jesus father god thank you lord for your words this evening lord help us to obey your words lord jesus we are hearing lot of words lord jesus messages but lord jesus help us to obey to the words that you are speaking to us help us to lift our eyes above in all sorts of situations help us to hear your voice help us to obey your words and help us to receive your blessings help us to see the fulfillment of the promises lord i submit all the leaders and the children and the staff those who are sitting over here lord jesus and i submit all the dear friends those who are watching through this are on through the online lord jesus bless them bless their family members bless their children bless their works bless their activities master Father, let your words penetrate our hearts continuously and help us to see you. Help us to hear your voice and walk according to your voice, Lord Jesus. Let all the satanic strategies be completely destroyed in the name of Jesus. And let your name alone be glorified. Let your strategies and plans be completely fulfilled as you have fulfilled through Abraham. Fulfill all your promises. and we sons in each and every one of our lives lord jesus help us to god let your name alone be glorified in jesus most precious name i pray amen amen hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah